Welcome back, everybody. The entrepreneurs and co-founders of Groupon are aiming to create their own Silicon Valley in Chicago. Brad Kewell and Eric Lefkowski are investing millions into mostly Midwest-based technology startups through their new venture capital fund called LightBank. Since founding Groupon back in 2007, Eric and Brad have raised over $150 million in funding. And listen to this. They've generated about $1.5 billion in returns. Nice returns there. Eric uh, is, by the way, is one of 15 entrepreneurs that Forbes magazine has predicted will be worth a billion dollars by the year 2005. We like to talk about that. 2015. We're, we're into money here. Um, 2015. 2015. So you got a little ways to go? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> is it 2015? Best of luck. <laughs> best of Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk about this because Silicon Valley in Chicago. Why did you guys decide to do this, Brad? Why don't you start? We are already in the process in Chicago of creating a, a major technology community. It's just a matter of acknowledging it and capitalizing on it. And so we are taking some of the money that we've made and, and investing it back into other companies that are coming out of the Midwest. And that, to me, is the beginnings of a real ecosystem. Is there a lot in the Midwest? I think we think of the West Coast, Silicon Valley, the, the typical. Is there a lot going on in the Midwest? Yeah. There is. I mean, there's, there's a ton. I think um, Chicago is underrated. I mean, it has a huge infrastructure. It's got like 7 million people, I think, or more. It's got fantastic universities. It's got hardworking, kind of, you know, mid-American. Um, you have all that kind of energy and, and young people, and it's just got this great ecosystem, but it's been overlooked. I think the two coasts, you know, being in New York, right, this is uh, one of them. These two coasts are very powerful, and I think money has historically migrated to the coast, but now all of a sudden people are looking at Chicago saying, there's amazingly talented entrepreneurial people, and it's a great city, and, and there's no reason that we can't build great technology companies here. How did you guys, uh, you know, come up with the idea to build a community there? I mean, did you go to Northwestern? Did you grow up in Illinois, or did you just find a, a nice spot? I mean, how did, how did it start? Well, we're both from Michigan uh, and moved to Chicago shortly after graduating the University of Michigan. But as Groupon and Echo, Global Logistics and Media Bank and others of our companies grew, we began to employ enough people that a, a critical mass formed. And then the question is, what does it mean? Does it mean that it's a one-off or does it mean that it's the acknowledgement that we can do something very special and then others can also, uh, both before obviously, Netscape and others have started in the Midwest and there'll be many more. And this is an impetus for others. You know, Matt and I have talked with Andrew Mason of Groupon. I mean, it's really pretty fascinating how it's, it's taken, taken on. I mean, social commerce, you guys, where do you see it going? Well, I mean, it's going to be... I mean, it already is huge, and it'll become, I think, you know, monumentally huge. I mean, there's just this seismic shift in terms of how a local businesses connect to the Internet and how much money can be made by basically taking these social communities and monetizing what's happening inside these social sites. It's not just sites like Facebook and Twitter, but <clears throat> really it's all over the place. I mean, people are using the Internet in new ways. And I think everyone saw this like 10 years ago. It just mm -hmm. took a long time for the basic infrastructure to be there, for these social networks to build. And now all of a sudden, everyone from Main Street, the, you know, the local Chinese restaurant, the local spa, is realizing there's huge money to be made and huge new customers to be found on the Internet. Actually, uh, Chris Saka is the first person to tell me about these location-based services. And when we were talking to Andrew about it, I, th I thought, it's kind of wild for an older guy like me I get freaked out having someone know where I am all the time, but the kids are used to it. They, they've sort of gotten used to this kind of uh, way of being social on the internet so everyone sees it and they, can, they don't mind checking in wherever they go either. Absolutely. The, the old way of targeting somebody on the internet was more macro when it was about um, big generalizations about who they are. Now the way to target somebody is to figure out who their friends are who they travel with theoretically on the internet and, and take that social graph and find ways to deliver things that they want locally. It's the local part that I think makes social commerce so relevant and that will make it really the cornerstone of internet commerce for years and years to come. We're, we're just getting started. So what's the next kind of interesting pathway when it comes to social commerce? I mean, is it just bigger and better Groupon or what is it? Well, I mean, first of all, Gr I mean, Groupon's like a, at this point, it's like a movement. I mean, it's not just Groupon, but it's the people who have followed that model and adopted it. And I think what you're looking at is this, this seismic shift of dollars that will leave traditional forms of advertising and find companies like Groupon. I mean, it's not inconceivable that, you know, a trillion dollars of business is one day done in this kind of a format. And then after this, it'll, it'll extend. I mean, right now, it's social commerce in terms of retail. Eventually, it'll move to travel. It'll move to maybe home improvement. It'll move to health care. And what you'll find is that these communities that are existing on the web mm -hmm. can be targeted and can form and can aggregate. 
around some idea, and that's the power of Groupon. It's basically the power of people. It's, you know, you get 100 people together, and, you know, you can do amazing things. Get 1,000 people together, more amazing things. Do you need, by the way, at all, uh, any, any roots in traditional uh, society? I mean, d does a store on the Internet need a brick-and-mortar counterpart, or does advertising on the web need to have traditional television or magazine advertising behind it? Well, clearly, if you've got a store in the real world, there's a powerful connection that can be made between that store and your Internet world, your Internet community. In terms of television and other media types, that's a good question. You know, the Internet lets you do things in a targeted way that is absolutely unique against many other mediums. Mm -hmm. And we are part of a, a movement now uh, trying to figure out innovative ways to take advantage of what exists. As, as Eric said, this just didn't exist 10 years ago. Now it finally, the foundation is set. You guys are investing in these companies. Got 20 seconds left. I mean, how you got lots of folks coming to you with ideas, good ideas, yeah. or, or what? I mean, we have. It's you know, we've been inundated, right? And we've had. We've been fortunate to have a bunch of success in building some of these businesses, and especially in light of Groupon success, we become a magnet of deals in the Midwest. And what right. we're finding is that there's just incredible quality of deals in the Midwest. We'll come back and talk to us about some of the other deals, yeah. will you? We'd love to. Great, Brad, Thank you. Eric. Thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it.